How many fights did Will Smith get into before his mom got scared? Oh, good question. <laughs> Not the motherfucking. She's gonna sing it. West Philadelphia, born and raised. On the playground is where I spend most of my days. Okay. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all, shooting, shooting some, some b-ball outside, outside of the school. school. When a couple of guys, they were up to no good. Started making, making trouble, trouble in my in neighborhood. neighborhood. I got in one little fight. You know, they were taking me back to the 90s, 80s and 90s, so I had to relive the song. And ultimately, I did get to the scientific fact that he only had one little fight before his mother overreacted. Finish this response. God is good. Amen. I've never seen that before, ever in my life. I mean, there's never been a time that I've yelled out, God is good, and somebody didn't answer. God is good! All the time! But why do you say all the time back? <laughs> Bitch. What church you went to, girl, what? What year was Cash Money Ruckus taking over for? Oh, gosh. I know the answer to this one. Mm -hmm. Juvie. I'm going to be honest. Candace Owens is a coon. Yes, a coon. White people reject you and all of a sudden now you want to come back? And to the people defending her saying, oh, I love Candace Owens. I respect Candace Owens. I adore Candace Owens. Y'all are coons too. You know why? Why would you side with someone who doesn't identify as black? She doesn't identify as African American. She is a Caribbean. She doesn't even identify as black. It's only when the white media and the white powers reject you, now you want to come back and be black? No. We don't, on behalf of the black community, black card is revoked. What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button on your way in, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content, you know what we're gonna do. Roll that clip. Like what? And Cash what? Money Records taking over this year? Bitch, not this year. Not this year. <laughs> the fuck? No, you're not talking about, girl, you look good, yeah. won't you? Yeah. Yes! He backed that ass up. I knew the song, but did not remember the first 10 seconds of the song, apparently. So there was that. And, um, yeah. I think I did pretty well otherwise. One more question. Uh-oh. She's Has, back. Yep. Has your husband ever asked you to bust it wide open and then proceed to tell you, bring it back? <laughs> On several occasions, unexpectedly, my husband has definitively... It's like, all right, never mind. Once you turn political, talking about definitively, like, no, just yes or no. Does he do that? Did you do that? Oh, fuck. To bring it back, I think, was the most important part that you said. Mm. And he has done both of those things, yes. And you've done it. Yes. I think the most important question from the black quiz that I was made to endure, unprompted, was about raisins and potato salad, which actually is a crime. She was gay to show. See... Black people in and of ourselves, we have a bad history of coons. What is a coon? The coon is someone that bootlicks white America for just a little bit of privilege for being close to white people. Yep. Now, if you're in the black community, there are certain things that you do not do. And cooning is one of them. Yep. A lot of people now are coming out and saying that Candace Owens is great. Candace Owens, I love her. Candace Owens, I support you. Lest we forget the crime. 
crimes against the black community that she has sown and reaped. Lest we forget, my brothers and sisters, how the Coon Candace Owens. Hold on one second, y'all. One second. I got on the wrong hat. I got on the wrong hat for this episode. I'll be right back. You see, my brothers and sisters of the black community, we have to understand that we cannot allow the coons in our community to flourish and thrive. We cannot allow the coons like Candace Owens to have a foothold in our community. You see, we're so forgiving and we're so accepting and we're so nice that we will forgive and forget and be like an auntie on a Sunday night. Oh, come on, baby. Come on back home. But you degrade, you diminish, and you demean black people. Yes, she does have valid points. Yes, she calls out white supremacy and white power and white privilege. But you're married to a rich white man. Yep. Did y'all not forget that the reason why she married a white man is because of his alleged IQ? Y'all don't remember that? Breakfast Club interview. Let's run that back. Say, well, Candace, you're speaking a lot about, you know, the black family. You married a white man. I mean, it's it's always very interesting to me to hear of and basically say that black Americans and white Americans shouldn't be marrying. I think the greatest thing ever is when people come together on the basis of who they love and get married. You know, for me personally, I never thought of my husband as a race. It's, it's just very interesting to me that see people go, she's she's married to a white man. When I look at my kids. I'm not like, oh, my kids are mixed. I have a mind that is just, you know, just go, 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 go all the time. And it was difficult for me to find a partner that was a challenge to me, you know, the challenge mm -hmm. that I needed. Uh, people tend to marry their IQ. You know, I fell in love with my husband just because I think he is one of the most brilliant people ever. You know, I love him very much. The stuff that we talk about, I'm like, there is no other person that I could have married. We have three beautiful children. You see... She blatantly said, and I don't know if y'all caught that, that black men were not as intelligent as her, so she had to get a white man. We all know that the only reason why she married that white man was because he was rich. If he wasn't rich, she probably wouldn't have married him. And now that, again, she's being rejected by white people that are in power, now she wants to come back to the black community. It's easy for a coon to get a foothold in the community because a lot of the people in our community support coons. A lot of our community wants to be white so bad. So I'm going to say this. This is to all the people that accept Candace Owens amidst her multiple jabs at black America, her multiple disses of black men and women, the multiple diss of reparations, the multiple disses that Candace Owens has thrown out against black America multiple times. You are a coon as well, because there's no other explanation. When a person shows you who they are the first time, believe them. Yep. Candace showed you who she was when she was tweeting negativity about black people, about the black community. And then you have the audacity to say, I support her as a black person. It's like we're too good for the glitz and the glamour, but now that you're struggling and now that you don't have an audience and now that you've been rejected by the people that supported you, all of a sudden, now you want to come back? No, we don't want you. B 
because it's not right. It's not right that you get to dump garbage on the community and then want to come back and be welcome with open arms. That's not how we do things. That shouldn't be how we do things. But unfortunately, that is how we do things. It's time for us to wake up and really see who people are and believe them the first time. Now, I'm again, I'm not saying that what she's saying is wrong or the method that she's going about doing it and the truths that she does expose need to be thrown out. But you should have been doing that from the jump. You should have been doing that, my sister, from the very beginning. Don't wait until now to say that. You should have been saying that from the very beginning. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. And until the next video, peace.